Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now here, uh, this is actinium. This is discovered in 1899. This is radioactive. In fact, now we will see most of the element as radioactive only. This is again soft silvery white that glows blue in the dark. And this also reacts with oxygen, and but it forms oxide coating. This forms oxide coat. That is my actinium oxide, and this prevents further oxidation. This is again found in trace in uranium. Okay, and due to scarcity and the high price, uh, this is not much used in the industry, but it is used in cancer treatment. Okay, the next element is RF that is Rutherfordinium. So I'll just skip it uh, fast because not much use of these guys. The Rutherfordinium discovered pretty late 1960 by Russia and California. And uh, this um, IUPAC name Rutherford, Rutherfordinium was given in the honor of Rutherford famous chemist not much use all radioactive in fact dubnium this is named after the city dubna it is city in russia where it was discovered or where it was produced i'll say because it's all uh, artificial these elements are all artificial and uh, this is radioactive it was produced in 1997 pretty recently and this IUPAC name uh, Dublin was given. The next is Seaborgium. This is again uh, named after uh, famous American uh, chemist who discovered a lot of elements, radioactive elements. That is Seaborg. Seaborg yeah. And this was again synthesized in 1974. In fact, this was synthesized in Dubna also, and it was synthesized in California also. We'll see that most of these elements actually, Russia and America both uh, uh, had discovered this independently in the same span of time during their Cold War. Because they were, the nu nuclear technology was the hot technology there and uh, Russia and America both wanted to have this nuclear power. These were all uh, synthesized elements. Same thing, Borium. This is uh, named after Neil Bohr. This was also synthesized, radioactive, and this was synthesized in 1981. By and how do you synthesize this? For example, this Borium atomic number is atom 107. So, in fact, this was synthesized by targeting bismuth with the nuclei of chromium. So when you target bismuth with chromium, it looks like at very high temperature, you get this borium. In fact, it's very, very uh, highly radioactive. In fact, the most stable isotope of borium has a half-life of 60 seconds. And since they have very, very small half-life, it's very difficult to understand their chemical behavior. But most of these are the radioactive metals used in the nuclear plants or sometimes the nuclear bombs also. Hasium. Again, this is also synthesized. This is named after a German uh, state, Hesse, because it was discovered in the lab, and this lab is located in this uh, Hesse location. And this is called Hassium. And this is also radioactive. And if you see, the most stable isotope of this has T half of almost 9.7 seconds. The other isotopes may have the T half of half seconds also. Right, very very highly radioactive and this was discovered in 1984 not very old by bombarding lead with accelerated iron so lead 208 with accelerated iron 5058 and with this it produced three atoms of hassium right this was produced in the gsi lab hesse germany the next is 
methanarium. Again, this is also produced in the same lab, GSI lab, Germany. Again, in the same 1984. And it also the most stable isotope has steel half of almost 7.6 second. Very, very radioactive. And this is formed again by bombarding bismuth with iron. But this time, uh, bismuth with iron. Earlier it was lead with iron. This is bismuth with iron. Bismuth with iron. You see, almost same process to form in the same lab. Okay, and this is named after the physics uh, physicist actually, Lise Meitner. So on his honor, this Meitnerian name was given. Also, since they are very very small T half, not much known is about the chemical properties of these elements. Damsterium. This has this, the most stable has a T half life of eleven second. Okay, this was again synthesized in nineteen ninety four. So we don't say discover, we say created for these elements. No natural isotopes occur for these elements. This was also done the GSI lab at Damstead and since it was created in Damstead the name Damstadium is given this was again uh, created by bombarding lead that is 208 lead with accelerated nuclei of nickel 62 so by this reaction uh, it was synthesized the next is Rhintignium this also, if you see, is all synthesized in 1994. This was also synthesized in the GSI lab in Germany. Right? It is named after a physicist Wilhelm Ronchen. Okay, this guy was a discoverer of X rays. And this was again. Uh, discovered by uh, bombarding bismuth 209 with accelerated nickel 69 so you'll see most of these elements are discovered either in america mostly in california or russia dubna place or gsi lab germany three of these place has given most of these uh, radioactive elements. They are all synthesized. Copernicium. This was again synthesized in 1996 by again GSI lab in Damstad. T half, the most stable is 29 second. And name, this is named in the honor of astronomer Nicholas. Copernicus. We must we must be knowing this Copernicus, right? This is a very 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 is a very famous astronomer. And this Copernicium was uh, produced by firing accelerated zinc, seventy nuclei, and this was targeted at lead. So lead two zero eight. It was being fired with zinc seventy accelerated uh, nuclei, and with this uh, the Copernicium was formed. So that's all about uh, these metals d block metals overview of all these d block metals uh, how they look and uh, what are their properties with this thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attend free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again